For the last thousand years of the Great War, Starscream was in charge of an orbital facility that had the capability of producing dark energon, though they maintained only a small stockpile because of its unpredictable and uncontrollable nature. The station's force of neutral soldiers were no match for Megatron's invading forces, while Starscream and Jetfire's repeated warnings that no one could control Dark Energon had no effect on Megatron's determination. Instead, Megatron tempted Starscream with knowledge of his past, reminding him of his demotion from Sky Commander to a mere guard over an all but derelict station, and offered to let him join the Decepticons, something Starscream scoffed at, at least, at first. Starscream attempted to destroy the station's stock of Dark Energon before the Decepticon leader could reach it, but failed, and watched, first with amusement as Megatron entered the storage chamber, and then with shock as Megatron infused himself with the substance and bent it to his will within moments. Starscream quickly volunteered his services for the Decepticon cause, causing Jetfire to label him a traitor and leave to warn Zeta Prime. Megatron sent him with Thundercracker and Skywarp to Cybertron to reactivate the Energon Bridge. Starscream performed the mission successfully using his trademark style, flair, and modesty. Never mind Megatron's taunting and unreasonable impatience, or Thundercracker's warning him of the danger of certain courses of action, or even Skywarp's cluing in to his constant insults. During the Battle of Iacon City, Starscream led the Decepticons' aerial squadrons and Brawl led the Decepticons' ground assault, while Megatron, Soundwave, and Breakdown went behind enemy lines and tried to secure the Omega Key. When Megatron's group met up with Brawl, Starscream refused to send Dark Energon bombers, saying that he wouldn't let Brawl waste any more of his ships. Megatron took issue with Starscream dubbing the bombers his, and overrode Starscream's refusal. Later that evening, while looking for the real Omega Key, they ran into it, Omega Supreme. Starscream assumed Megatron was killed when Omega attacked a dropship Megatron was heading for and declared himself Decepticon Commander. Shortly afterward, Megatron managed to communicate with Starscream and ordered him to attack Omega Supreme, getting the massive Autobot off of Megatron's back. By the time Megatron's group were heading for the Autobot turrets, Starscream was ready to sound a retreat, which Megatron overrode with the threat of marking any retreating Decepticon as kill on sight. Fortunately, Megatron arrived moments later and managed to defeat Omega Supreme, making the retreat unnecessary. Later on, he was present at the core of Cybertron as Megatron corrupted it with Dark Energon. As the Battle of Iacon continued, Starscream fought through Jetfire and Silverbolt, and attacked Optimus's group in the Decagon. However, the Air Commander was injured by Optimus's Energon axe and forced to retreat. The wound was apparently bad enough to cause him to sit out the remainder of the conflict. 